All right, look what I got. Westminster effects. That can only mean one thing. For those of you who are new to the channel, not long ago, I did a video called our amps dead and there's a picture of me holding up the Geneva amp sim by Westminster effects it's modeled after an AC 30 I believe it was and it sounded amazing I was blown away by the quality I did a couple videos of it I did a giveaway which reminds me I actually just finished a giveaway and a lot of people are like well who won and I I put the answers out on social media and everywhere I could but congratulations to Alan who won the main prize he lives in Washington State mailed that off yesterday and second place winner was um what's his name abel from australia so congratulations to those two for winning the giveaway also i have more giveaways coming this what's in this box will be given away but not today i'm gonna spend some time with this i'm gonna enjoy this before i give it away and i think i might be able to add it to maybe some other things i may give it away individually i'm not sure but what we are going to do today gonna what we're going to do today is unbox this see what it is plug it up hear what it sounds like and enjoy whatever beautifulness comes out of this box let's get into it all right so here we go westminster effects that's all the box says let's open it up Comes in a nice little bag that also says Westminster Effects on it. Look at that. It's a beauty. What else came in the box? We got all the, the things. I think there was a pick in here uh, when I first opened it up, but I believe I'm using it. I am using it, but Westminster Effects pick. What else we got in here? Oh, the Augsburg. So this is a deluxe amp simulator. We have on here treble, middle, bass, presence, volume, gain, cab sim through, and a bright switch. On this side we have our power and our in. On this side we have XLR out. It also has a ground lift switch right here. Get a little closer look at it there. What a beautiful pedal. And I don't see anything on this pedal that would warrant like a lawsuit or anything. So good job, Cody. So there's a few things I want to mention. I don't know if they like followed my advice not advice my feedback or not but when i had the geneva the switches um, were not up and down like they are now see they are up and down which is great because you can just assume that down is off and up is on but before they were switched back and forth and i was like hey i struggled to know which way was which and i didn't really know what i was hearing and so uh this is definitely an improvement love that that they took that into account with the design so let's plug it up and hear what it sounds like but look what i got back I got back my Fender Telecaster. I sent it to Born Again Guitars. He's actually around the corner from my house. Does a really good job. He cleaned up, polished the frets. I uh, got it looking really good. Set it up, did some other things, and now it plays amazingly. He actually uh, put different strings on here. They're like nines, a little bit lighter gauge than I was used to, and I really like it. And with the polished frets, this thing just sings and has sustain for days now. So uh, I thought it'd be fitting to plug in the telly. We'll probably use both guitars, but plug in the telly using a Fender amp sim. Um, that's what I played through for years was just my Fender Blues Jr. with the Fender Telecaster. So yeah, should be a lot of Fendery sounds today. Let's plug it in. All right, we are going to power it via the DC7 power supply. The lights on. That's good. I think I'm gonna use my uh, wireless things because you guys know me. I love going wireless, and these things are amazing. These are the new X B5RC wireless guitar system. It comes with its own charging case, um, and you get like three or four charges. You hit the button, and the lights turn green, and then your devices turn red, and you know they're charging. Uh, I've been using these consistently for like three months just trying them out with different venues different guitars next to other wireless things and i just still love these things if you want to get a hold of these they're only like 149 dollars definitely worth it when you compare it to my other wireless guitar system which is the sure gdlx whatever i can never say it um that thing's like 550 bucks so uh if you want to get these use my link below you can get them on amazon you can click the link down below I'll put it down there also I will say that if you're interested in the Augsburg or the Geneva and you're thinking about getting one I am now an affiliate of Westminster effects so if you're thinking about getting a pedal anyways consider supporting the channel by using my link and I get like a very small commission that helps me make more videos like this one so that link will also be down in the description receiver there transmitter there cable there 
Another reason why I love Westminster effects because they have this whole like Reformation theme in all of their pedals like Augsburg uh, What was it? It was something written by I think Philip Melanchthon, you know, I got to go to Germany actually in 2017 which was 500 year anniversary of 1517 when Martin Luther nailed the 95 thesis on the door at Wittenberg Castle Church anyways I just love the whole thing. It's just like harkens back to all that very cool theology rich history. If you don't know, go check it out. All right, we got it all set up here. Let me zoom in a bit so you can see. Uh, we have three switches here. We have the cab sim up and down. We have the through on and off. We will keep that off because we want to hear the amp. And we have the bright switch on and off. And so first we will switch that on. We have a three band EQ treble mid and bass presence volume and gain and so i want everything at noon except turn those down a little bit and we will see what it sounds like Take the mids out and boost the bass in true fender style. Just play around with some of the knobs. Even with the bass all the way off, we still get a good bit of bass. The bass is not an overwhelming um, feature. All right, let's put those back to normal and we'll introduce some uh, mids. Super glassy right there. Let's take all the mids out again. So, with the Fender Telecaster, the presence rolled off actually sounds really good. Maybe it's because I'm leaning more Voxy style these days. <laughs> A 
Let's see how voxy we can get this thing. No bass, all mids, little bit of trouble. Still has a uh, fendery sound to it, even with these extreme settings. Let's put a more of a normal setting here. All right, so that is what it sounds like on its own, but Fenders can be also known as a pedal platform. So let's see what happens when we put um, some other things in here. We'll give us a little room reverb here. All right, so let's add an overdrive to this thing. Let's zoom out a bit here. We're going to add the lion, because I really like the lion. And it can get us a lot of good tones fairly easily. All right, we got the lion hooked up here. Let's see what it sounds like. Let's see what the Augsburg sounds like with a little overdrive added to it. So that sounds really good. Let's add some delay, cause why not? Add a little chorus. Dimension chorus, my favorite. So there you have it, the Augsburg from Westminster Effects. Playing through this and the Geneva has just made me think like, really, are amps even needed anymore? Now that they have both of these, some people like to blend like the Vox and Fender style amps. You could get this, what, I think this is like 220. The other one's also 220. 
Uh, you could run stereo amps with this. You have your DI boxes already built in. You could throw it at the end of your pedal board. If you're a worship leader like me and you're looking for backup, like backline amps for people who bring in their stuff and you want to run direct, you don't have to deal with loud amps anymore, this is a perfect solution. There's just so many great tones. Now today was just a quick look and unboxing, but let me know down below uh, between this one and the Geneva, which one would you lean towards? I've always been more of a Fendery type person, but I really enjoyed the Geneva more. I think, I think I'm leaning more Vox as I get older, but the cleans you can get with a Fendery sound, and this definitely has the cleans. Plus it's a nice pedal platform. As you could tell, the Lion Overdrive just sounded great through this. It really takes pedals well. Like I said, let me know down the comments which one you like the best. If you haven't seen those videos, I'll link them up here or down below. I don't have the other one with me because I gave it away, much like I'm going to do with this one. I'm going to give this away to a lucky winner, uh, but not yet. Like I said, I'm going to spend some time with it. Anyways, I got to go. If you liked this video, let me know by hitting the like button and then also YouTube also knows that people like this video and it might share it more. Like I said earlier, if you want to support the channel, there are several ways you can do that. Um, right now, I've just recently released my Expanse pack, which are presets for the HX Stomp, but I also just recently released it for the HX Stomp XL and I'm actually working on some other things. For those of you who are still here and actually care, I'll get, give you a sneak peek. So you guys know that I bought the uh, XL, but when I did, I actually bought some other things as well. I also got the HX Effects. I'm also building an expanse pack with this. Now it won't include the amps, obviously, because HX Effects is just the effects, but for those of you who want to uh, get some of the same sounds running through your own amp, potentially an amp like this, because you could run this whole pedal board into an amp like this. This would be a terrific rig. You could also do that, but I also got one more. <sighs> A full helix. Well, it's not the full one. This is the LT, but I got a really good deal on all this gear and I'm starting to dial this in and I, lo I love this. I imported the expanse pack on it and then I'm going to expand the expanse pack on this because this has, well, twice the DSP and so there's like twice as many things you can do on it. So I'm very excited about this. More content coming up on this in the near future. Uh, it's used. I got it used. Got some scratches on it. I might need to get one of those skins by Chad Boston. Skins by Siba, Siba Skins, something like that. I see it on Facebook all the time, but Chad, if you're watching this, I may be hitting you up soon for some skins. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.